picture of it. Oh, that's fantastic. With, with the body, and that's when it was known as the Golden Ford. That's really beautiful, isn't it? None of that's left. Unfortunately, the body doesn't seem to have survived. I imagine it was pretty dazzling when it yes, came down. Yes, quite the a sight to see. Claire, come and have a look at this. That rusting hulk in there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the shine on it. Yeah. Gorgeous, Even isn't it? Even on a black and white photo, you can see all the reflections. All the reflections. Absolutely. That's right. Well, here's the deal, Neil. We think it'd be daft to take it away to get the mechanical restoration done somewhere else, seeing as you're the mechanical expert. But what we thought we would do is take it away and get the lovely bodywork done at Coach Builders. Would that suit you? That sounds good to me. Yeah, does that, that suit you? Yep. Fantastic. Yep. Well, that's the deal. You're on. And hopefully, Neil, the next time you see it, it'll be at Brooklyn's Racetrack. Oh, excellent. All shiny and beautiful. Well, I'm looking forward to taking it up the test hill. Fantastic. Well, all I've got to do now is go and try and find someone who knows how to build this lovely coach work. Are you off to the library, then? It would seem that way, Claire. Can't keep you out, <laughs> then, can we? <laughs> see you later. Good luck. Bye, then. Our goal is to have the Golden Ford screaming along the famous home banking, what's left of the Brooklyn's racetrack, the world's first purpose-built motor racing circuit. We also want to fulfil Neil's dream of powering her up the famous Brooklyn's Test Hill. Back then, a good time was 7.9 seconds. Quite a challenge for Neil. And if we aren't going to push her up, then Claire and Neil are going to have to sort out her chassis. Let's see how far out it is, Pete. Nothing. Tune up her engine and attend to a very dodgy rear wheel. And I'm going to have to find some little company who can help us restore her wonderful brass body. This week's challenge takes us to the dawn of the automobile. It's a 1911 Model T Ford. But this one's no black banger, it's the Golden Ford. A brass body thoroughbred with a pedigree to prove it. And whilst Claire and her owner Neil Tuckett get to grips with what's left of her, I'm out on the road burdened with questions. Why would the ultimate utilitarian vehicle like the Model T Ford be turned into a racing car? Why was it chosen? And more importantly, what happened to our car, the Golden Ford, to make her what she was? I need to find a historian, somebody who knows about these kind of things. And I think I know where to find one. Right, Neil, I know it's in one hell of a state, but we can start... Back in the workshop, and Neil and I are thinking about sparking her up. It sounds like absolute madness, doesn't it? But it does work. These things, they're so simple. that if you put a battery on it and you set fire to it, it sometimes works. Right, you jack the back wheel up. Yeah. Because that makes life easier. Normally, I'd be a bit wary about starting up an...